Later today, Dodgers, Mets, and then tonight, Yankees and the Guardians. It was fun last night. That's a lot of baseball. And it was a lot of, well, for the Yankees and the Guardians late, that was excitement. The excitement was taken out of the Dodgers and the Mets as uh, they roll again. Mookie Betts goes four for six. The Dodgers are up three games to one. There was a football game. It's weird to have a standalone, oh, by the way, football game. But that's exactly what it was last night as the Broncos roll the Saints 33 to 10. Back to what we saw with Cleveland and the Yankees, bottom of the 10th, and David Fry at the plate. In game three, Fry, deep drive, left field, Fry's watching, it is a walk-off home run! David Fry lights up the Cleveland night! And then you go back the inning before, and this is how they stayed alive to get two extra innings. Swing it! John Kenzie Noel, the big Christmas, they called him. <laughs> and you want to talk about a no-doubter. I think that was a change-up that was just left over the plate. And he attacked. He crushed Yes, he that. did. Yeah. That's almost where you throw the bat away, almost in disgust. Like, you thought you could get me out yeah. with that? Yeah. And he just threw his bat, discarded it like a toothpick. Uh, the Dodgers are outscoring the Mets by 5.25 runs per game. That's on pace to be the highest runs per game differential in a postseason, best of seven in baseball history. Stat of the day, stat of the day, that stat of the day, stat of the day. Here comes that what? what stat of the day. Stop. I don't mean to pump the brakes here, but they still have to win one more game. Okay. Because it feels like, I saw Bill Plaschke, the longtime columnist for the LA Times, like, we're in it. We're in the World Series. You can book it. Let's just hold off. Give the Mets a chance here. Let's just understand that they are still a very good team. Dodgers have been great. They've come up big. Uh, Otani set the tone with a home run. I always like when I, when he goes to the plate, when he gets there, if you played Little League and you got your picture taken individually and you were at the plate, like that's almost, he just stands upright, got a smile on his face, and it's like, cheese. And then all of a sudden, when the pitch is getting ready to be delivered, then all of a sudden he goes into attack mode. But, but he does have that, hey, uh, go up there, we're going to get your picture taken. Like he's seven years old. Yeah, he's got a big smile on his face, the bat's like this, <laughs> and all of a sudden, here comes the pitch, and then boom. Yeah. Talk about a launch angle, you know? Dude swings hard, too, man. Good but grief. but it's that, it, it's just such a crazy launch angle. He's so tall, and, uh, you know, what he creates with the speed, bat speed, man, those are bombs. Like, it's not one of those, it might be, it could be, like, you know how baseball announcers do that? You know, they want to build up the home run. It might be, it could be. Like, with Otani, you can't do that, because we know that's faux. It's gone. Now that's not the home run call you want to have as a baseball play-by-play guy. You want to be, oh, Tony, that is deep. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Going back to the warning track. It, it might be, it could be, it is. It, Otani is like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. That's a home run. But uh, got baseball later on today and tonight and uh, the chance for the Dodgers to move back into the World Series. All right, Seton, poll question for hour one on this program. Well, we can start. we got a couple options here from Paul. We've got a bunch from Friday Fritzy, who's mm. shot out of a cannon today. Mm. Uh, I wish he was. Why don't we start with something a little more simple? Okay. To win an MLB playoff game, you'd rather hit a walk-off home run or throw a no-hitter. This is one of Paul's. Well, there have been a ton of walk-off home runs. There haven't yeah. been a lot of no hitters, so I would take the no hitter. Yes, Paul. I, I thought it was kind of obvious when I wrote it that well, no hitter. It's so much more special. But the juice of the home walk off home run makes you pause, doesn't it? 
that I can do no more. I parked it and I get the run around thing. Mm. I, I know it's still much more special, but the no hitter, I don't know how many times it's been done, maybe three or four, but that, that walk off is something everybody wants once in their life. Well, how many no hitters have there been in modern playoff history? You know, Roy Halladay had one. Don Larson had one. Yeah, yes, Todd. Regardless of how rare or more rare one is versus the other, I'm with uh, Paulie on that. I know he doesn't like what I agree with him. But going around the base and they're all waiting for you and to attack you at home plate as opposed to the catcher jogging out to give you a big hug that you got a no-hitter. I just think this and the fans going crazy a lot more for a walk-off home run than and a pop-up to shortstop. I think this is going to be the last out and you got the no-hitter. Are you trying to look like a pumpkin today? I'm not trying to. I was wow, looking for something. Nice. I didn't want to overdo the Bronco thing. You don't like when I go crazy with my Bronco clothes. So I put the old school hat on, and I'm like, let me put on like a, some kind of shirt that doesn't say Broncos all over to have the D. And I found this in the closet. It's a, a little wrinkled in the collar, but I'm like, I'm going to go with okay. this. This is a similar orange. It's not the exact orange of the Broncos, but close enough. I didn't know if it was a October Halloween type feel. It was not a Halloween okay. costume. It wasn't about autumn or the leaves changing. Oh, okay. It okay. was about blue and orange. For my, my bad. I don't even know what you just said. I was just staring <laughs> I know, at you. You weren't sure. paying attention. I, I was not. Uh, what other poll questions do we have today? Are you rooting for the Guardians or the Yankees? Uh, I'm rooting for the Yankees to play the Dodgers. Just the storyline. But if Cleveland would happen to win it all, that would be one of the great baseball stories in history. Because how close they've come. You know, that, that it's right there with the Chicago Cubs. But they've been closer to winning a World Series. And they almost beat the Cubs. But uh, I, I'm rooting for the Yankees-Dodgers matchup just because that's what baseball needs. Baseball's had a good year. I would love to see them be able to top it off with a great matchup in the World Series. What else do you have, Seaton? Uh Let's see. we got a few here from the T.O. Dub. Mm. That's always fun. Mm. Todd, do you want to hit those? Yeah, let's do it. After the wild ending of ALCS Game 3, the Yankees will bounce back and still win the pennant, unravel and collapse. <laughs> Let's try to sell it. You can't. I know, but it can't be just will they win or will they <laughs> lose. Will they collapse? Yeah, it's more fun to say it that way. I don't like yes or no poll questions. I think we have to, you know, they're going to take it, baby. Don't worry about the Yankees or they are going to blow it like they did with the Red Sox. Well, It just feels like. All of these games come down to your bullpen. How good's your bullpen? How often can you go to your bullpen? Not necessarily about starting pitching. And last night, the Yankee bullpen fell apart, right? Right in front of us. What other questions do you have? We've got the Dodgers Mets NLCS result will be. And simple enough, here are your choices. LA in five, it ends today. LA in six, LA in seven. Mets win the next three and take it in the distance of Game 7. <laughs> Any other options on that one? I think those are the only things that could possibly happen for the scenarios of the NLCS results. I'm going to say it goes back to Los Angeles. That they go back and then they win it back there. Chavez Ravine. Yes, Paul. We could always do the old standard poll question. If you have tickets for that game Ooh. and you're a Dodgers oh, fan, yeah. let's say you're holding tickets, do you want to clinch and relax? Which is oddly like jumbo shrimp, clinch and relax. Or do you want to, would you deep down prefer to lose so you can go to that game at home? And- I, no, I, I, I want to get to the World Series. If I have tickets for game five, I don't, it's okay if they, they win tonight. Jack Flaherty on the mound versus David Peterson. I'd rather, let's win, and then I'll get tickets to the World Series. 